Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Aaron from MyFastPC and it's time for another tech tip. In today's video, we're gonna check out how to change your default sound device. Check it out. If you're new to this channel and you've stumbled upon it, we do a lot of how-to videos, tutorial videos, and videos just like this one. So as usual, with any Windows product, there's multiple ways to get what you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for the default sound device. So what you're gonna want to do is come on down to the little speaker in the bottom right-hand corner. If you don't see it, make sure you click this little uh, arrow right here. That'll open up your system tray. And then, of course, right-click on the uh, transparent or the little white speaker. And then go to Playback Devices. What that's going to do is it's going to open up a window, usually in the top left hand corner, you can go ahead and drag that window over to the middle. And in here it's going to list all of your default devices or all of the device, devices that are plugged into the computer that you can use to uh, play your sound or record your voice or record any type of audio. So what we're going to do is on the top tab here, usually it's uh, the playback, is we're going to find the speakers or find your headphones and then you, what, what you'll want to do is right click on it and then come on down to set default device. What that will do is that'll set that specific device as the default where your audio will come through or for you to, uh, like I said, recording type of audio. So uh, same with the recording. If you go up to the recording tab, you'll want to find the microphone that you're wanting to use. Right click on it, set that as default. Now with any of these options, if you go into, if you right click again and go into the properties, you're gonna have a few different options in here. This is where you can go in and you can change the sensitivity of the mic, the boost levels, the bit rate or the hertz of the, of the actual sound quality, and uh, just go through and update any type of drivers in there as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. We do new videos every Thursday. Thanks for watching.